Welcome to another Lumion 8 Advanced live stream tutorial. This is Chris Welton from C. Welton Design, and this is going to be a very quick cover over the new two point perspective slider in Lumion. So let's, we have a scene right here, and I, I think this will be a very quick explanation to an effect that we already have that Lumion's just refined a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a big tall building here. And let's go get a camera path, a camera shot taken from down here. Oh, there already was a building here. But there we go. Pretend that building is in either our main building or just important for the shot. And let's go ahead and add our two point slider effect which shows up in the camera two point perspective and yes it is the exact same effect from before except now instead of just being able to turn on we also can determine by how much you know this is something of course you got to be careful with because you can easily distort things and definitely don't try to do an animation at oblique angles with this on or you're going to get some weird it gets pretty weird but with this amount slider we can adjust it's not just binary on off because there's a lot of variations in between you see a lot of different angles in here so I'm not exactly sure how we want to get this in here but let's just say that we want to get closer like this shot here we maybe want those perfect verticals on this building here but we we want to see the top of that building too so if you were on off, that's too much. Too dis we're not getting the verticals, and now we are, but we can't see the top of the building. Now we can just back it off a little bit, and we can see the top of the building, and we still are pretty vertical. So very straightforward. It's just a little bit extra control that Lumion's given us, Lumion 8. Plenty of features like this, just little improvements here and there to make our experience better. And that about covers it for this tutorial. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And please leave any comments on future tutorials you would like to see. And thanks for watching. And until next time, guys.